Welcome back to my channel. I'm Milan Perry of Soul Natural Wellness. And just like you, I'm tired of being quarantined. I'm, I can't wait to get back out and start dining out again. However, I still enjoy really good food at home. Food that's delicious, lots of flavor. Before we get started into this, into this video, make sure you go on and subscribe to my channel. After you subscribe to my channel, click the little bell to make sure you get any updates as I produce new videos. I'm sharing with you one of my favorite recipes, which was a request by one of my followers. In this recipe, it is meatballs with a honey mustard sauce. So it's super easy. So I have my ingredients right here with me. Um, so we have a shallot. Um, we have some Parmesan, very sharp Parmesan. It just smells amazing. We have some rosemary, the fresh rosemary I'm gonna be using, and we have some garlic. We also have an egg that's gonna be our binder. We have um, some breadcrumbs that I'm gonna be using, and we have kosher sea salt and black pepper. So that's it, those are my only ingredients. So let's get started. I'm using turkey because if you're gonna be dining at home and since we're quarantined and being you know, in self-isolation, you're eating a lot at home. You're, because this is such a new experience for everyone, you may find yourself eating a lot more from the refrigerator and not really being uh, attentive to what you purchase in the grocery store because you just wanna get in and you wanna get out. So you're not really menu planning like you should. So that's why this recipe is really, really good um, because what you can do in the end is just pop them in a Ziploc bag and save, the, save some of them for the rest of the week. Or even if you choose to freeze half, if you're solo in the house, then you can just freeze half, cooked, and then save some for next week. So first we're gonna get started with chopping up our vegetables. And always good to mise en place first because when you mise en place first, then everything is already right there in its place. So mise en place basically just means having everything in its place. And mise en place is good to use a shallot instead of an onion because the more you cut into your onion, the more gases that it will come out of the onion and the more it will want, it will make you start tearing, which you don't want to be crying. Um, unless you really need a good cry, then, then it's okay. So Next, we're going to um, take our fresh Parmesan and because we want that flavor, we really want to make sure that we have lots of flavor. So we're going to take some of our fresh Parmesan and put it in our meat. Next we have our garlic. We want some fresh garlic in there as well because garlic has lots of, lots of flavor. And also because right now we just need those really good antioxidants. We need something to fight all of this bacteria in the, in the air um, that we're around as we go out and make, do our daily runs. Now, if you want to stop it from sticking to your cutting board, what you can do is take a pinch of salt, put it on the top. I'm not Gordon Ramsay, so this will not be one of those fast talking uh, videos, or I'm also not Jamie Oliver. So you're not going to be watching one of their videos. So we just want to give our garlic um, a little bit of a chop, rough chop, so we can get some flavor in there, but just cut it as best you can. Next thing we want to add is our breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs will help to hold it together. You don't, you don't need a lot, a little goes a long way. And next, we're going to put in our egg. One, I will only start with one egg. So we'll start with one egg. I'm going to be using fresh rosemary. And a lot of chefs will say, don't use fresh herbs in the cooking process. They would recommend using fresh herbs on the back end so the flavors will not be lost and that the, the essential oils from the fresh herbs will go right into your, um, and go into your food. Well, I'm gonna put them in right now because this is what I just happen to have on hand. So you can be as creative as you want with, if you choose not to add in fresh herbs, you don't need to add in fresh herbs. You don't need to even, you don't even need to add in any herbs for that matter. Just whatever it is that you want to do. So I'm gonna use some fresh herbs because I love flavors of the Mediterranean. I absolutely love 
fresh rosemary. Who don't love fresh rosemary? And since we want to add that into our turkey, let's put all of that in there because we want that flavor. I only chopped one sprig, so I took it down, chopped in one sprig. Next, we're going to add the most vital ingredients of all, salt and pepper. You definitely want to make sure that you salt and pepper. Sometimes you can get so carried away and so into what you're making that you forget to add in the most important ingredients. And my pepper. I love pepper. Now we have all of our ingredients inside of the meatballs. Next, you want to mat, you want to blend them all together. Now, you can use your raw, you, you can just use your hands if you want to. I don't want to because I don't feel like cleaning all of it off my hands. Um, although, these are the best tools that you can possibly have whenever you're cooking. So I'm going to be using something different. I'm going to be using some gloves, the same gloves that we're walking around. We're all walking around today in quarantine. Get our knife out of the way and now get mashing. You know, this feels a lot better with gloves on versus with your hand anyway. So I highly recommend if you're going to be mashing this up together, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you use some gloves. Now, because it's still uh, wet, you can see that. I'm going to be adding um, a little bit more breadcrumbs because the breadcrumbs helps to hold it together and not and, and drop some of that moisture that's in the meat. If you choose to use red meat or chuck, um, ground beef, it's, it's entirely up to you. Whatever you want to use, it's entirely up to you. I chose ground turkey. Well, since I can't taste it, I'm definitely going to smell it. I sense the smell is so integral to tasting. So if I can't um, taste it with my mouth, I would definitely, definitely smell a lot of everything. And sometimes I'm able to do this, but I can't do this because this is raw. But if it's something cooking on the stove and I don't feel like tasting it, I will definitely do that to smell the flavors. And now's the fun part. See how easy it is and I'm not even like messed up with meat? I love that. So next we're gonna use a scooper. A scooper will make sure that all of my uh, meatballs are uniform. So I will definitely wanna use that. Um, and then now I can use my hands. I don't have a problem with this. If you're making these for a large group of people, then you want to use a smaller scooper. finish making all of our meatballs I'm gonna pop them in the oven don't forget make sure you check on them around the 30 minute mark so I'll see you soon I want to make sure that you have more than enough for everyone so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the mustard because remember it is honey mustard. So you want the mustard to come through. It's more honey. We're almost there. For quarantine and staying at home, we really want to make sure that we're using good practices even at home with our family. No double dipping. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a spoon that we haven't mixed with to taste it. Nicely coats my spoon so it's not too runny. So all of my garbage went into here, remember? These are my extra spoons that I've used for either whisking or tasting. My ingredients are all here, ready to be put away. I may add a little bit more vinegar, just to give it a little bit more tang. My honey mustard sauce. So we are finished making our meatballs with a honey mustard sauce. So we're just gonna take a look at them right now. I took them out of the oven. We finished our meatballs and our honey mustard sauce. I just want you to take a look at them. So this is my plating and I can't wait to eat them. So 
I'm just gonna taste it. It's always good to taste your own food before serving it to someone else, right? Mmm. These are so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until our next time together during quarantine and isolation, come back and cook with me. I want to share with you a very special training, a very special training, how to get your strap back. I know during the quarantine and the self-isolation, we've been rather cooped up in uh, self-love and the self-care that we usually give ourselves because you're always out and about and we're able to get things that we need. You're able to keep your hair cut, you're able to get your hair done, you're able to get your nails done, you're able to do your mani, your pedi, your massage, there's so many things of self-care that we're able to do for ourselves when, we're, when everything is functioning properly. None of it's not. Self-care is so important to us right now. And because self-care is so important, I want to invite you to a special training that I'm having. In this training, this will show you how to get your strut back. So if you've lost your strut just sitting around the house and you know not really dressing up like you used to, going to work and taking care of clients and running your business and uh, meeting with producers or meeting with prospects, it's okay. The special training to see how you can get your strut back even if you are in quarantine like myself. Until then, stay beautiful and healthy. And bon appetit.